YTPC, Backwoods Piper 1, finally making another video. I just wanted to uh, let everybody know I just got back, well I got back earlier this afternoon, but I went to the uh, St. Louis Pipe Show today. And I'll tell you what, I had a fantastic time. I ran into uh, some fellow YouTubers down there, or up there. I ran into uh, Smokey Mo, of course, and I uh, also ran into John Laughlin. DW and STL, which is DW in St. Louis, and uh, well, several other guys, and uh, just had a great time. Good conversation. Can't beat it. I mean, he, the, the the YTPC members are all really great guys. They really are great guys, great gals. I mean, there was a, it was a good show. I we got a lot of snow and stuff over overnight you know, all day yesterday. So <clears throat> this morning when I left here. I left about two hours before the show started so I could get there in time because it's about 65 miles you know, northeast of me and uh, I'll tell you what they did absolutely nothing on the on the road out here where I live I live out in the country and it, I live eight miles from the highway and uh, I was really concerned so I left out here this morning I forgot my camera and but you know I did bring the all-important thing and that's money because I spent some today. <laughs> but anyway, the, the highlight of my time there was uh, meeting the fellow YouTubers. I mean, if you haven't checked out any of those guys, it would behoove you to do so. They're a fantastic group. They all do fantastic videos. And uh, I'll tell you what, I, I thoroughly enjoyed the company. It was, it was really enjoyable. John Laughlin is one heck of a nice guy. I mean, that's... I could tell that by watching his videos and things and, uh, and of course I hadn't watched any videos in so long he was telling me about some of the stuff he's been doing in his videos him and old Berg and stuff and I got to go back and play catch up but anyway what I'm gonna do is I didn't take any video or anything while I was there of course like I said I forgot my camera but uh, let me show you what I got I got a bunch of course first off the uh, Plain tobacco and that the tobacco group was there and of course I got a lot of samples not free samples but samples and of course I got the all important pipe cleaners three bags of those of course that's one of my pipes back there I don't know if yeah, you can see them a little bit and then uh, I'll do the little tobacco samples first that was one John Laughlin gave me and to be honest with you I can't remember what it is I think it's HGL if I'm not mistaken I could be wrong about that but it's it's uh <laughs> I opened it up smelled it and he goes he told me what it was and I he opened it up or I opened it up smelled it and I said man it smells like some of the old chewing tobacco and I know I've said that on a couple of my other videos it smells like uh smells like Levi Garrett anyway I got a nice little sampling of Metal of Valor which I've already had most of these and and I like them so that's all I got this time was stuff that I like. Last year when I went, I wasn't sure what I liked, so I got a little bit of everything. There's a lot of stuff I didn't care for. And this one, of course, I like this one too. This is a BS005. That's a very good, good English. Most of these are English, by the way. Um, no, this is the this is the HGL here. So I'm not sure what the other stuff is, but this is a Wayne HGL. That one I think I've had, but I'm not 100% sure on that one. And then I got uh, some English Oriental Supreme by Lane. I guess it's Lane. They had Peter, some Peter Stokeby stuff there too, so I don't know if it's that or not. But I know there's more in here. Okay, now this, I thought I'd try and expand my horizons a little bit. And this is uh, Peter Stokeby's uh, toasted, um, toasted Burley. And I smoked a bowl of this on the way home today and it was pretty darn good. I, I kind of enjoyed that. And then this is uh, Stokeby's Latakia. That's straight Latakia right there. And that's, uh, that's it on the bulk tobaccos, I believe. 
are the sample tobaccos. Let's see what else I got in here. Anyway, and then I did get a few tins, not a whole lot, but a couple. I got a John Aylesbury Scottish blend. I believe it's a two ounce tin, if I'm not mistaken. Well, 100 grams, yeah. Yep. And I have never tried that, so I thought I'd give that a shot. And I got a, on the uh, recommendation of, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, John Laughlin, I got a Vaughn English blend. He said that's pretty good, and I like English, as everyone knows. And last but not least, I found another Peterson Irish Oak, which is kind of hard to find. And this is an older tin, so I'm not sure how aged it is, but uh, anyway, I like the Irish Oak. And you know, and most of you know that I, or if you watch my, follow my videos, you know that I'm basically an English smoker and I don't really care for the Virginias too much. But with that being said, now this is a, says it's a rich blend of Brazilian, African, Virginia leaf with Cavendish and rare Louisiana Perique. So I guess this would be classified as a vapor. I'm not 100% sure about that. But I do like this. And so I got, I got three tins of it right now. I don't know when I'll open them, but. And then I got, yes, I got some pipes. And most of you know I like, uh, I like Peterson pipes. And uh, so I got myself one Peterson today. And uh, there's a sleeve. And there is the pipe. And it is a beauty. This is a Kinsdale. And uh, tell you, I don't even know what model this is, but uh, oh, it's a XL26. So this baby ought to be a good long smoker. And uh, yeah, it's in pretty good shape. I do believe it's an estate pipe, but it's uh, it's a nice one. I could be wrong. It may be a new pipe. I don't know. And then I got um, two pipes that are uh, they're factory seconds. And although I don't know why they would be seconds, because they are both really beautiful. And these are a. Uh, Perinelli made in Italy and they are both really really pretty pipes and I got such a deal on these things I couldn't believe it I, could, I bought these cheaper than I could get some state pipes it was just unbelievable and they came highly recommended by John Laughlin and another fellow down there at the show so like I need more pipes that's going to put me up to about uh, Probably about 19 pipes. Holy cow. I think I got a good rotation then. <laughs> and then last but not least, and it's, a, it's an estate pipe, but I bought myself a very small little Dunhill. I just, I don't know, it's the, the romanticism I think more than anything for me with the, with the, uh, the Dunhills. I just, I just wanted a Dunhill so I bought one. It's a Dunhill tan shell, made in England. It says 32F slash T. It's got a one in a circle. I'm not sure what all that means, but uh, anyway, I bought one. And I believe that's pretty much the haul that I made down there. Let me look through this bag here. Yeah, I think that was it, but uh, and as you can tell, I'm not smoking anything right now, so by golly, let me try something here. What do I want to try? What's this one? Yeah. I'll do the... I'll do this BS005. And I'll try it in the... Uh, try it in here. A little uh, Dunhill. 
But uh, yeah, it's a, it was a it was a wonderful show. I I could have probably stayed around a little longer. I I, I actually came away with there still had money left over, which is for me that's totally unusual. But I uh, I went back through again just before I left. Thought yeah well, maybe I'll see what else I want or what else I can get and and the uh, the old tightwad in me, which is very unusual anyway, but. The old tightwads on me come out and said, eh, you got a little money left, just take it home with you. So I did. Now, do I have a lighter? Ah, oh, yes I do. Give this a little gem. Oh, one other thing. I didn't get this at the show, but I've been needing an ashtray for my desk. For when I'm smoking my desk. And, uh, let me light this up. Anyway, I've been needing a nice uh, ashtray for my desk, and uh, the wife and I went on a. Uh, I just took a little trip and uh, went to uh, Elephant Rock State Park here in Missouri, and, and after that we did went to a couple of uh, reseller shops or antique shops. While I was in there, I was walking down this one aisle, and I, I looked over and I saw this thing. I thought, "What the heck is that? What is that over there?" Well, first off, now this is this is my neighboring state, and, uh, and it's a, it's an ashtray. I mean, I couldn't believe it. I saw it. And I thought, man, it's not really my favorite state in the world, but it's uh, it's got some beauty, beauty in the state and everything. And they got some pretty good stuff going on. So I thought, what the heck, my uncle comes from there. So I thought I'd buy it. Here we have an ashtray made out of cast iron in the shape of the state of Illinois. And it was made in by uh, by Wagner Havana, a subsidiary, uh, a, subsi a Sudbury company, excuse me. And it says first cast October fourth, nineteen eighty nine, Havana, Illinois. And uh, I just thought it was cool for two reasons: one, it's in the shape of a state, and two, it's made out of cast iron. And believe me, this thing's heavy. You don't want to drop it on your foot. But anyway, I just thought I'd show you that too. But yeah, like I said, that's it was a great day. It was really a great day. I enjoyed it. And uh, yeah. anyway, had a great time. But I got more stuff in my little cellar up there, which is pretty low right now. I'm I'm mowing through all my jars finally, and before I decided whether I want to open any of these tins. But. Uh, now I put all this stuff away, and then, of course, I will uh, put my pipes in their proper place. One, one will go there, one will go there, and of course you can tell I like the Petersons. That's, those are my Petersons over there. So this one will go, hopefully it will fit in there. Hmm. Well, I may have to put this in a different spot. There we go. Anyway, that's about it, guys and girls. I just thought I'd give you all a, a show to show you what I got today. And uh, apologize for not getting any video while I was there. But, uh, well, John Lawful said he's, he was going to walk around and do a little bit. So keep an eye out for his, uh, his take on the St. Louis Pipe Show. He... Uh, I'm sure he, he's going to show you some stuff he got too. Yeah, doesn't smoke too bad for a nice little pipe. Be a nice little, little short smoker, I guess. But I just thought I'd see what the big, big deal is with the uh, Dunhills. If I like it, maybe I'll save my money and buy a brand new one next uh, next year at the show. <laughs> anyway, this is uh, Backwoods Piper 1, Al. I'll uh, catch you all later. Hope you have a great rest of your weekend. And uh, 
I'll be catching you later. See ya.